Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Symphonized Bluetooth Portable Wood Headphones. Uh, this is the NRG 2.0 Wireless. And here they are. Um, they are worn behind the head. Uh, you have on the right side, you have this little controller that lets you change tracks and volumes, and this is the on-off button and the play-pause button. Uh, it's charged by a micro USB cable, which they do provide. Uh, it's a short cable. I've got it uh, hooked up to my charger, so I don't have it here right here for the review, but it's just a little cable, so that's about it. And then uh, they give you six different sets of little silicone ear tips. It's got the medium set pre-installed, and this set happened to be just fine for me. And then you have four sets of these little uh, ear, I don't even know what you call them, wings, I guess. And this just goes uh, on the outer part of your ear, inside your uh, outer part of your ear. And you just put whichever one in there you need to give you the proper fit. And for me, the ones that were pre-installed uh, were just fine. Um, you can see this is made of wood. And then you've got a metal, uh, where the cord goes in, you've got sort of a metal little strain relief with uh, some strain relief here as well. You know, I have to be honest, I was super surprised at how good these sound. Uh, the, much better than I was thinking. And actually, the specs on these are pretty impressive as well. Let me just get you the box here. But uh, they are saying that the frequency response is 18 hertz to 22 kilohertz. And I must uh, also say the bass response on these is impressive. Uh, I played some audiophile tracks and uh, these are uh, audio tracks that I usually listen to when I'm reviewing or listening to high quality headphones and uh, I was not expecting these uh, little earbud things to do very well but uh, definitely blew me away um, they do lack just a little they can just get a little bit of muddiness lack of clarity when you get really complex music that's really going crazy but the low bass that these can produce uh, and the highs uh, is really remarkable. And so for the price of these, I was really impressed. I was not expecting to have such a satisfactory listening experience with these. But seriously, check out uh, a couple of the tracks that I listened to were Alexander Desplat um, from the Birth soundtrack of the prologue. Um, really complex music going on here with some very subtle triangle and uh, then also I listened to some Tommy Emanuel guitar, uh, specifically I listened to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and uh, really uh, I just was very pleased with the sound of these. Now there are a couple things I don't care for. Um, they do transmit sound from rubbing on your clothes very easily into the headphones. And also this control part, which is on the right ear side, it's a little bit heavy. And I do find that if I'm walking, uh, jogging, definitely, uh, these sort of pop out of my ears. So I, I just, I don't think I can recommend these for jogging uh, or even really working out, I don't think, if you're going to be doing a lot of movement, because this did tend to pull this out of my ear. And you can feel this, too, uh, sort of tugging away. And I found myself constantly reaching behind my neck and repositioning this. Now, um, I guess what I've learned is by using this little adjustment here, you can shorten the amount, uh, the length of the cables going to the earbuds. And what you guess what you want to do is you try to want to get this uh, as close to the back of your head as you can because if you leave a lot of extra length hanging, then that even makes this hang from your ear more than uh, normally. Uh, and so if you have it closer to your head, that is. Um, so that's about it, though. I really uh, think these sound great, really. I was very impressed. Uh, as far as the Bluetooth distance, uh, if I had my iPhone in my right pocket, which is the same side as this little controller part is, uh, the Bluetooth connectivity was great. But all I had to do was move my iPhone into my left pocket, and I did have intermittent losses of connection. So although Bluetooth, generally speaking, has, you know, like a, 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 three, a 30 foot range or whatever they say, 32 feet range, uh, in practice I found that simply moving my iPhone to the other pocket uh, caused this to break up. 
But they're the specs. They say you're going to get six to eight hours of talk time, standby time up to 300 hours. It takes about an hour to charge these. And uh, as far as the mic quality uh, during phone calls, it's not bad. Um, when I compare it to my speakerphone on my uh, phone, people tell me that this sounds a little more muffled. But that is partially, there's the microphone right there, but if this were leaning towards your neck instead of uh, being out, that could explain the muffled sound. In any case, not too bad. They give you a little carry bag to shove everything into. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.